A. The histograms of names, the scatter plots of experience, the unspoken unconscious, the things learnt to do by doing without being fully aware of what is being done. B. The quantitative analysis, the horizontal axis, the measures of passage of time, the frequencies of words that show historical time is irreversible. C. The work on literatures, the changes in discourse, the question of criteria, the validity of claims, the mining of text for meaning, the meaning as raw material. A. The lexicons of study, the generational phases, the wild uneven forces of dissimilarity upon which such beautiful regularity rests. B. The morphology of word, the direction of the gaze, the structured relationships between elements of the whole and the space and interaction between observer and world. C. The constant reiteration of syntactic sequences, the repetition of process of abstract fashion, the extractions from context of semantic subject. A. The comparative roles of canons and averages that simplify the field. The quiet transformations and assumptions made without explicit debate. B. The keyword selection. The course and the drift of the cloud of data condensed on a single line, reducing the many to the one for ease of understanding. C. The procedures for guided readings towards a general tendency of tempo and expectation of some preferred world, some life, some scale of nice round numbers.